I was told a student, Samuel Lakono, wanted to meet me to tell his story to the world. What I did not know was that meeting him would affect me emotionally as I began to interview him. So, my, my name is Samuel Lakono. I'm a student of UEW. This is how I have been informed. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm even emotional. It's okay. When I came to do this interview with Samuel, I did not envisage the difficulty he will have to go through while granting me an interview. So at this point, I'm not going to continue with this interview, but I'll rather allow him to speak with me through different ways. For years, Samuel has had a rare disease and endures falling, having seizures and hitting his head on walls countless times while talking or attempting to talk. We had to continue our interview through text message. Samuel told me, art allows him to express himself when words fail. He wants to draw me. He tells me while some Ghanaians see him as an evil person, others run away from him. He recalled an experience in public transport when all passengers fled when he tried to tell the mate he would alight. It's a lonely world having this rare condition. It creates a lot of stigma and he starts, he wants to talk and everybody starts staring at you at places. So sometimes it breaks him down emotionally. During classes, and when he has to defend his work, someone will do it for him. So in where he stays to, he has someone who helps him. Despite this challenge, Samuel is proud of one achievement, climbing the educational ladder. He's now a second year student pursuing arts education at the University of Education, Winneba. And the lecturers at our department have done a Extremely well. <laughs> They've all been very, very supportive. Mr. Kemobo, especially Mr. Francis Ansia. We oh, um, always, and some, Akuno is talking about this man. He's really a wonderful man. After hours put into drawing me, Samuel presents me with a portrait. He wants the public to support his artwork so he can financially support his education as well as his medical treatment. What he needs is financial support because art is very expensive. I think to me, he should get someone who will be talking to him to let him do it, like a certified clinical psychologist. He's also hopeful that someday signs will advance and he will talk without difficulty. I came to interview someone to share his story with the world. Instead, I had more than a story, a lifetime experience about a young man who spoke through art when words failed him. If you are able to talk without difficulty, do not take it for granted.